Verduno is uh, very close to the Tanaro River Valley and so that always allowed uh, to have a microclimate that is uh, very warm during the summer, uh, during the day of the summer, but uh, in uh, evening and night uh, arrive uh, always a very fresh air from uh, the Tanaro River Valley, giving uh, a great excursion of temperature between uh, night and day, and that's allowed to have much more uh, uh, aromatic uh, uh, complexity. So at the end, we can say that the Barolo from Verduno are the most uh, elegant expression uh, of uh, that uh, kind of appellation. Uh, so we, we have an approach that uh, didn't change uh, really from uh, the past uh, to right now because uh, the state, uh, and uh, especially in the name of uh, Franco Bianco, he always uh, acts in the vineyards with uh, a lot of passion and uh, thinking about the vineyard like an extension of his house, of the family. So uh, he has been uh, working in a sustainable, um, organic way, uh, even in the, 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 in the 70s, where everything was allowed to, to use a very strong chemistry. But uh, in uh, this, um, this way, like I said, uh, thinking about uh, the, the, the vineyards, like uh, an extension of the house, he wants uh, to really to have a healthy place. Uh, so uh, right now we continue to act in this way. We are not certifying organic, even uh, we act uh, organic or even more. So to be very careful using chemistry, to use uh, any herbicide, and also to think about vineyards and not a place um, just like a factory of grapes where you, you, you have this place just um, to build your, uh, your grapes, but a place that is uh, in the nature where also different kind of animal can find uh, uh, um, a place to stay from uh, insect, uh, birds uh, and even a bigger animal. And the, this kind of philosophy yields uh, the same uh, in, uh, in the winery. So minimum intervention, so we use uh, wild yeast, uh, we use uh, um, all the techniques that are traditional one, so long contact skin in open top wooden fermenters that we call uh, Tino for many, many days. So we reach uh, even uh, 90 days of contact skin from uh, San Barolo. And uh, for the aging process, uh, we use only big uh, Slavonian or Austrian oak. No fining, no filtration, because uh, also the idea is that uh, we uh, make a lot of efforts in the vineyards to achieve the best quality of grape. So I don't want to uh, filtering uh, uh, get uh, out from the wine uh, uh, all the, the, the efforts that we did uh, uh, to have these beautiful uh, grapes. Uh, so the, the cellar that we have uh, here downstairs, the, the, the castle, is a very historical one. Uh, because we are speaking about a, 16, um, a cellar from the 16th century. So a lot of wine uh, passed through those, uh, that, uh, the cellar and uh, is uh, good thinking that uh, already uh, Re Carlo Alberto, because uh, uh, the, the, the previous owner of the castle was, was uh, the, the king of Savoy, um, he was making his own wine and now we are continuous to make uh, it in the, in the same place. It's very unique also because the condition of the cellar is the, the, the perfection for uh, to age our wines because we have all, uh, almost a constant temperature between summer and, uh, and the winter. Uh, great humidity, so allowed really to have uh, a beautiful uh, long aging uh, wines.